everyone, Manny here. So, I'm gonna be a little realistic with you guys here and tell you that there's nothing that exciting that's going on when there's no racing. Rather than doing a day in life, I thought we would just chat. You and I, right here, right now. Right here, right now. And don't mind this obnoxiously squeaky chair. I say that now it doesn't squeak. I was going to call this, what's he going to call this? Oh, um, we're going to call this Mandy Talk. Why? Because all I'm going to be doing is talking. So if you're not a fan of me, basically, then you can just chime and go watch some other video. Arbon Fistic. <laughs> this is today's drink choice. So let's see what has been going on. Okay, so welcome to my newest, latest, and greatest office. As you can tell, it's kind of clustered. I just put this desk together. I think I just did this last week. Best like Walmart purchase. I mean, this desk, I think it was like $160. From Walmart, like, are you kidding me? It's a, it's absolutely adorable. So it fits perfectly. Uh, however, uh, this problem with having like five homes is that I now need doubles of everything. So I have a desk at the other place, and now I have a desk here. And you know, like, it's really overwhelming. Today, trying to kind of make this apartment a little more home-like and kind of cozy. I did kind of buy a couple things. I think I brought five plants with me. And one, when we, you know, the the transition from warm to freezing freaking cold out to back into inside, they, some just did not make it, unfortunately. However, I'm learning that this apartment, there's plenty of windows, but there's no sunlight that gets in here. And I've tried everything. So what I did was, I don't know, I'm, re I'm already breaking it, <laughs> buying some fake plants, yes, I don't know where this one went, oh, it goes right here, I I'm showing you my, like, stuff I purchased today, because I told myself I wasn't going to buy anything this week, and then Mike tells me that he needs, um, a screen protector for his phone, I told him, like, you don't, you don't, want to send me shopping. In case anyone wants any grass. <laughs> I think this might be going in the bathroom. Yeah, this, yeah, this is pretty hefty. So I'm really excited about this. Mike's gonna be coming home and be like, um, what is that? Yes. My phone, I don't know if you'll be able to see it with this. Phone. What? Yeah, you, you can't, like, it's got the tint, the tint to it. I think that's amazing. I was like, yeah, you know, I can I can talk to myself and do all this stuff and da -da -da, do work and no one around me can see what I'm doing except for when I go to do my videos, say I'm like down here and I'm looking at it, I can't I can't see what I'm videotaping. Like are you, are you kidding me? And I was so excited for this screen protector. So that really upset me because this was pretty expensive. This is like one of those Verizon sells you and it's like, oh, lifetime guarantee, if it cracks, we'll replace it. Yeah, I already went to uh, TJ Maxx and bought a plain screen protector for $6. So, got Mike one, got myself one, bowling. Got a cord for my mini charger that I bought for when we're at the races because obviously I use my phone for like 90% of all the work that I do. So definitely need to get a new one, which I am extremely actually excited for. More or less, I bought it because um, we are heading to Georgetown. We as in, well, Mike's Mike is like extremely overwhelmed. He's got a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, so as of right now, he won't be there. But my dad and my brother are going to be down there. But I will be working. We're racing in Georgetown in Delaware on Friday and Saturday next week. I don't know why I'm still holding this up next weekend and I was like if I'm working both nights like two days in a row I'm gonna need 
like a little portable phone charger thingy. All right, so enough of talking about what I bought today. Let's talk racing, cause like honestly, what else is there to talk about? Cause I don't, I don't even get the news, guys. We just, we just watch Netflix. When we watch TV, which happens maybe once every other week, I don't watch the news. So I don't know what kind of politics to talk to you about, except for the weather. That is cold outside. So, however, all right, racing. So, Brett Deo just announced, I have it pulled up here, that I am, like, so, 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 so excited for it because we've been telling, like, not just me, but, like, a lot of us have been telling Deo, you need to run a show in Florida when we're down there, before, after, whatever, just make it happen. So, he made it happen! We are going to be going to Lake City, Florida at All Tech Raceway for the Sunshine Swing. Oh, it sounds so fabulous! So, what that is, it's going to be... Oh gosh, dude, the payout is crazy. Uh, Thursday is going to be 5,000 to win. Friday, 7,500 to win. And Saturday, 10,000 to win for the Modifieds. I mean, why wouldn't you go? Especially, because what it's going to be is... I don't think I explained this. It's going to be the weekend before the Dirt Car Nationals in Florida at Blue Speedway Park. So, you know, all the teams are driving down there. May as well head down like two or three days earlier and go make bank. So I have been hearing a lot of things that's happening and a lot of people that are signing up and people that are just slowly announcing there are going to be so many drivers following the Super Dirt Car Series this year. I mean, like... No offense, but a lot of people I have never even heard of and a lot of people that I'm extremely surprised and pumped that are going to be following it. So this year is going to be nuts. I'm not, I think there's like over 30 races and we go to a lot of exciting tracks. I mean, we're heading back to Eldora when the trucks are on dirt there. Obviously Eldora's dirt, the trucks are going to be there, so they're going to be on dirt. Yes, brilliant. So... <laughs> We're going to be there with them. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure we go back to Sharon. Our first race in April is going to be at Can-Am. Canada, America, Can-Am. Boom. Mind blown. Ooh, to add on top of that, is that for the Super Dirt Car Series, as most of you should already know, is that Mike's racing for George and Julie Huddig, the 35 team, and he just got the body back from Pilot, and it looks so good. So good. So I'm really excited. I really, really hope that they let me put like a little teaser out. Be like, hey, sneak peek of what the car looks like because it looks awesome. Oh yeah, duh. So I mentioned that <laughs> why I got a phone charger is because we'll be heading to Georgetown next weekend. And with that being said, that means racing season is finally here. I can't wait. I always think it's so funny. I was told that it's gonna, I haven't actually, let's, let's check the weather. I was told that it's gonna be warm in Delaware next weekend. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be in the 50s. But <laughs> this exact thing is what makes me laugh every time. They're like, oh, it's gonna be so warm and I just can't wait to go racing. All right, so think about this. It's gonna be 50 degrees. Is that, is that really warm? If it were September 15th, it's 50 degrees, I'm pretty sure that people would be complaining that it's cold. But because we're so itching, do you hear my seat? Because we're just so itching to go racing, we're like, oh, it's going to be beautiful, 50 degrees, sunny, blue skies, I'm going to wear my shorts. I know all of you know what Netflix is. Uh, I've thought about, like, we need something on the lines for racing. Like, how awesome would that be? Well, lo and behold, there is a thing now called race flicks. So I am like over the moon about it. So go on to raceflicks.com and there is just like endless videos of racing footages from, I, I can't even think of it. Oh, I mean, heck, you want to go and watch my dad win five straight Victoria 200s at Fulton? Yeah, they're all on race flicks. They're adding videos every week and footage from the 80s, from the 70s, probably from the 60s, like you can go deep. You know, just go in there, type in Billy Pouch and all videos that he's in or related in or even compete in, boom. You can find them all right there. So rather than spending your money on Netflix, 
go to race flicks you can go on and get a discount code by putting in my name mandy and i really hope you know how to spell my name but you can get i think it's like five dollars off your first month's subscription so um definitely head over there at least give it a trial run you know try it put in my code get your money's worth give it a shot tell me what you think so i've been thinking more and more about what i want to put on my t-shirt for this year last year thank you to every single one of you that ordered it that have it that proudly wear it i love you i kind of want to go somewhat similar but a little bit different for a shirt this year so i was thinking just something small on the front and something bigger on the back i want you to be able to wear it to the racetrack wear it out to dinner be like a born anywhere kind of shirt i'm kind of thinking about putting like a little saying on the back or a slogan of some sort obviously i want it to be race related so what do you think it should say actually you know how awesome would that be comment below and give me your little slogan your saying what we should put on the back of my shirt and you know what if yours is chosen I'll send you a free t-shirt. I think I like that idea. Let's do that, that would be awesome. Cause my creativity, I lack on some creative things. Like if I'm having a really, really good day, boom, 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 I'm done. But when it comes to my own personal stuff, it's like it's like crickets up here. I, I don't know what people will want when it comes to my own personal stuff. So I want it to be race related, I really don't want it to be corny or cheesy. So definitely do that. Let me know what you're thinking. And if I pick yours, I promise you, this is this is like me promising you. Or should I be doing this? This is us doing a pinky promise right now. I'm gonna pinky promise you that I'll send you a t-shirt if I use your slogan. So before I ramble on and on and hold you hostage all day, cause I could definitely do this like 24 7 just keep talking I'm gonna cut it here and say thank you for watching make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel subscribe to the newsletter and hopefully mother nature cooperates and we will be racing ASAP so you can see some exciting videos yeah 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 yes catch you next time